Divya Nidhi. Divya, play, divya also means playful. Now, can you, is there such a thing as a playful, a jewel you can play with? You're very careful with jewels. You don't play with them. You wear them. You, you lock them up. You carefully guard them and protect them. <laughs> They're not something you play with. Hey, here's, here's my diamond. You, know, you, you, don't, you don't play with it. But Radharani, she's a divya. Divya means divyati. Divya means playful, joyful. So this, when Radharani, when the jewel of Radharani enters the heart, one becomes joyful, becomes playful. So she's a divya nidhi. She's playful. She frolics. So she's a, she's a nidhi. She's a divya nidhi. In one sense, Radharani is, is being translated here. She's a... Uh, in Vrindavan, there's a divine jewel. Well, you could also say nidhi means treasure and divya means playfulness. In Vrindavan, when you come to Vrindavan, you'll, def you'll find a treasure. You'll find a treasure house of playfulness known as Radharani. She's the most playful, the most funny, the most, the most amazing personality you'll ever get to know. If you, if you serve her and you remember her and you pray to her and you read about her, you see how funny she is. She's very, very funny. And uh, her, her sidekick is the biggest joker in the universe. The si her sidekick is the biggest joker in the universe, and that's Srimati Vishaka. Vishaka! <laughs> Vishaka! It's Vishaka. And so she's always encouraging Radharani. She's giving her the first line, and Radharani gives, she gives the lines to Radharani, and Radharani speaks. Vishaka is right here, she, right on the side. Lita is on Krishna's side. They're born the same time, the same time, the same place. They have the same varna, the same complexion, the same vav, varna, vav, janam titi, everything's same. Janma, we say radastami is also vishakastami, by the way. <laughs> Especially, it's important for me because she's my yuteshwari. <laughs> and and wait to parivar, the yuteshwari, our. our our, our boss, <laughs> Niteshri, for all the Mandri Sakis, is Vishaka, and for Nityananda Parivar, it's Lalita, Lalita and Rupa, and for us, it's Vishaka and Rati. Rati Mandri is Dasko Samipad. Of course, he's also Tulsi, more popularly known as Tulsi Mandri. And Tulsi is, Dasko Swami is initiated by Advaita Charya. And some, some lines of Advaita Charya's family, they they claim that Advaitacharya is also Vishaka, although he has a um, Mandri form also. These uh, divine personalities have many forms, as you may be knowing or you will come to know. So Radhavidanam iha divya niranam asti. So Radharani, is, uh, she's very funny, and uh, so we say divya niranam means there's a treasury of playfulness here known as Radharani. Her name, what is her name? Radha. Radhavidanam iha divya niranam. So we'll find this treasure ocean, because nidhi means ocean, we'll find this treasure ocean of Radha's playful pastimes. Because divya means, when you come here, you'll find out about the playful pastimes of Radha and Krishna. One of the funniest pastimes, some very funny pastimes, are the pastimes recorded in Chamatkara Chandrika. Chamatkara Chandrika by Vishnu Chakravartipad. There's four pastimes there. And one of them is where Radharani get, pretends to get bitten by a snake. She pretends to get bitten by a snake. And then Krishna disguises himself as a lady doctor. And this is in Yavat. So we go on, we go, as I took so many Brajmandal Prikamas in, uh, and before, in all days, uh, days before. And uh, mostly Russian devotees uh, with translation with uh, one devotee, uh, Ambrish. He was like my Vishaka. <laughs> he was always here. You were there? I remember. And uh, he's, he's fantastic. Because I would go on and on and on. He would just sit. And most translators say, Maharaj, I can only translate one sentence at a time. And if they say that, I'd say, I'm sorry, I can't speak. Because I can't. Hello, and then stop. Goodbye, and then stop. And then hello, and then stop. So I would go on and on. And Ambrish was a fantastic translator. I think he took sannyas. Jai Ho. Amrish Maharaj Aki, <laughs> very, very sweet devotee. He must, he's, he, something must have happened because he sat next, he was right next to me for many, many years, for many, many hours 
And, I, and if, if that direct association with me hasn't done something, I, I don't know. <laughs> it must, I never know what, hap what kind of devotee he is. But he's already a great devotee on his own, obviously, but I'm sure I, I maybe he got a little something. Great translator and wonderful, really, devotee. So when we go there, then we tell these stories about Radharani. So Radharani, she, you know, pretends, she lies on the ground, and, and then Saki's, oh, uh, uh, Jatila, Radharani's fainted. What happened? Oh, she was bitten by a black snake. That's right, she was bitten by a black snake. His name is Kalia. Oh, he, she was bitten by Kalia, one of the relatives of Kalia. Yes, his name, is, what is his name? His name is Kalia Krishna. He's bitten Radharani, now she's dying. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, oh, my daughter-in-law. Oh, she's going to die. Oh, call a doctor, call a doctor. And they run everywhere. Oh, we can't find any doctor. Oh, we found one mantra doctor. There's one lady. She's a tantric. She knows she's a tantrini or whatever they call. She, you know, ta female tantric. She'll come and she'll, <laughs> tantrini or whatever. And she'll, she'll, so then, then Krishna comes disguised as the ladies. And he says, now listen, Jatila, I, I, have, I have some very, uh, this is very serious. I, she, he took the, Krishna felt her pulse. Oh, she ha she's barely living. She can die any minute now. So I have, I have some very special medicines in my medicine kit. So first I will massage. I will massage her feet. And I'll try to trace out where the poison is, where exactly the poison has lodged itself. And then I will try, I will try a massage. Then if that doesn't work, then there's a special medicine that I'm chewing in my mouth. I've been chewing, when I heard that your daughter-in-law got bitten, I, I put that medicine in my mouth, I started chewing it. Actually, it's a pond. <laughs> it's betel nut, it's tumble. So I've been chewing it all the way, so it's really enriched with lots of my phenila. Phenila, that's described in CC. That's Krishna's saliva. Jagannath Prasadam is mixed with the taste of his lips, the saliva, which is called phenila. So... And it's it, and this is a very special prasadam. I mean, uh, medicine, dawa. But uh, see, this medicine I'm chewing it. But I have to. The way I administer, administer means to give. The way I administer this medicine, I have to kiss your uh, daughter-in-law, and then put, put the medicine in her mouth. And Jatila said, "I, you know, uh, we have called a doctor many times." But usually he gives a little tablet, a little powder wrapped up in a piece of, you know, little, little papers. You know, you open up the papers and, you know, go like that. You know, little, little Ayurvedic dawas, you know, <laughs> little papers like this, that, that, that. And I know, what, what kind of, this is a very strange medicine. No, no, this is a serious case. I don't administer this, I don't administer this medicine anywhere and everywhere. Well, okay, whatever you have to do. <laughs> so when you're reading these pastimes of Vishnu, this, you're just laughing moment by moment. It's the f and the exchange is what the gopis are saying and Radharani is saying is very, very funny. So this is the divya aspect of Radharani, her playful joking, her playful spirit. And this, this attracts the playful heart of the bhaktas. So this is another meaning of divya niranam. When you come to brindani sar brinda brindatavim anusara pranayena chaita radhabhidanam iha divya niranam asti when they come to Vrindavan, they will find out about these playful pastime places. In Yavit, all these wonderful pa playful pastimes happen with this Radharani. So we'll find out that. So the, in the, the, uh, in the Tika, they're describing that all this is available here, but then how do we qualify for the mercy of Radharani and Vrindavan? Vrindavan can give mercy and it will give mercy. Radharani is Karuna Mai and she will give her mercy and Karuna. But how do we qualify? So that he's telling that we have to be very greedy. We have to really want it. Always be. And greed is something that never stops. It's not that I'm greedy today and I'm not greedy tomorrow. Greed, greed this transcendental greed, lobha, is something they use the analogy that someone loses something costly or valuable or dear and near to them, like their money or some jewelry or costly cell phone or something. Then they're looking everywhere around the house, looking to find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? They're very anxious, very eager. They're longing. They have a great longing. Oh, I want it. I want it. I want to find it. I need it. I need it. I want it. I have to find it. I need to find it. They have this great longing and eagerness. And, and that's, that's what 
and then it becomes passionate. You start running, where is it, where is it? And your heart enters into your search, your search for your lost valuable object. Your mind enters, your heart enters, and you become almost mad looking for it. It happens to everyone, even a young kid, nine years old, ten years old, he loses something he really attached to. We get attached. That's our nature. We get attached to whatever we have. So that, and that's, we have some experience of what, this is a type of greed. It's the, the intense desire to possess something that we've lost. Now in our case, we never lost, we never had, but we want to attain Radha and Prema. So the Acharyas are telling here in the commentaries that this greed, we have, and, that, and the proof of real greed this is the foundation of Raghunuga Bhakti, is greed. And that's, just, that's a driving force. It's like the, as long as the gasoline, or what you say, as long as the petrol is in the engine, it keeps driving, it keeps moving. You, you keep moving in the car and the engine keeps working. But if the petrol, em the tank goes empty, you're, you're stopped. Your movement is stopped, your car stops. So this is the fuel that drives the practice of Raghunuga Bhakti on and on. The fuel is greed. And if one really is a Raghunuga Bhakta, that, that drive is daily. It's moment to moment. And that's what they're saying. They say this greed is intense. It's, they des described it as uh, greed is an intense, intense driving force. So living in Vrindavan with love, which we're instructed here by Prabhupada and the Sarasati, Brinda Tavim Anusara Pranayena, Cheta, we should live here with pranayena, with love. 